welcome. It's Julia Marie, and welcome to Julia Marie Yoga. Um, you're tuning into one of our Practice Everywhere Flows. They come out every single Tuesday, so I'm really excited to have you here. Today, our practice is going to be all about your stems, your gams, your legs. Yeah, we're going to get down and dirty into the legs, starting to build up those powerhouses. Our legs are where we boost our metabolism because they're full of really big muscles so that we have lots of energy throughout our day. Also, when we balance out the muscles of the hips and the legs, we have um, a greater sense of ease and fluidity in our hips and our low back. Um, as well as, obviously, a great connection to the ground, sure-footedness, grounded, rooted, powerful experience as we move through our day. So grab yourself some water, get your mat. Remember that you can practice this flow anywhere and everywhere, even if you're home, you're in your office, you're outside, wherever. If you can roll out a mat or you can grab yourself about a six foot area of space, you can do this practice. So I'll see you on the mat. So I'm really excited to do this practice today. Um, and when we think about our legs, sometimes they kind of get neglected um, in terms of what we're thinking about in our yoga practice. Our shoulders get a lot of attention. We do a ton of hip opening. Everybody wants a nice, strong core. But these babies are um, what take you from point A to B all day long. So let's sh show our body some love, um, as well as get into a space where we feel uh, Tons of relief for our mental and emotional well-being as well. All right, since we are focused on the legs today, let's start standing. Come on up. Let your feet come underneath uh, your hip sockets so there can be some space between your feet. Roll the shoulder blades down your back. Open the palms forward. And then put a little soft bend in the knees. Good. Good. And a little soft bend. Start to sink the weight into the heels. You're going to come into a really shallow chair. Draw the front belly in, the front lumbar is going to lift in and up, so you're going to feel that spaciousness. And then right away, see so if you can flare the ten toes, you can pick up all the ten toes, root them down, and once you feel that final toe root down, you push up strong, lift up through the pelvic floor, through the belly button, chest opens forward, eyes come to close. Good. And then track a deep breath in through the nose, let it fill up the sides of the ribs, go all the way down to the pelvic floor. Big breath out. Breathe in through the nose. Sigh out the mouth. One more time like that, inhale. Seal the lips, soften the knees, inhale through the nose. Circle the arms up overhead, seal the palms through the nose, exhale. Thumbs drift down to the sternum. Soften the knees again, inhale, straighten the legs, reach the arms up, big sweep this time, gaze meets the center of the palms. Exhale, thumbs to the chest. Last time, soften the knees, big sweep, inhale, palms seal overhead. Exhale, soften the knees, hinge, bow. Come into a little shallow forward fold, and um, if the ground feels far, you can put some blocks underneath your hands. Otherwise, just bend into the knees until your finger pads can touch the earth. We're going to let the belly drop in between the thighs and allow the head and brain to drain. And just let the weight shift between foot to foot, just connecting to the ground, allowing your toes to paw at the ground, and get a good sense of sure footedness underneath you. Yeah. Good. And then from there, walk your hands forward, your feet back, and come into our first high plank of today. Energize the heels back, draw the front lumbar in for that wave um, through the back of the heart, and then lengthen the neck. Yeah, so the ears stay up in line with the upper back. Yeah, if you notice that you're hyperextensive in your knees, your elbows, or there's some discomfort there, you can put a little softness there, but then drop into the midline and push into the ground. So you're finding the strong line of energy from heel to skull. Good. Take a full breath in. Then soft knees. Bend the knees until they're going to hover over the earth and start to shift. Chest back towards the thighs. Bend knee downward facing dog. Let the legs load. Use the arms like tension rods. So all five of your finger pads on each of your hands is pushing. 
pushing into the ground, all right? And the butt's gonna go high, keep those knees low, energize through the heels. Good, we're here for four more breaths. Allow the heat to build, draw the belly in so you have that strength and stability in the torso. Take one more breath, downward facing dog, start to pedal out the legs. Whew, alrighty, starting to warm up the body. And then shorten your down dog by one handprint. So we're going to come into short dog. Heels get a little closer to the earth. And maybe it's two handprints for you, and that's okay. Soften the knees just enough that you can feel that belly button lift in and up. Support the mid back. And center your left hand. Take your right hand underneath. Reach towards your outer left shin. You can always touch your thigh or just reach for the mat over to the left side. Good. So just squeeze the sit bones up. Lengthen the neck. A little down dog twist. Take another breath in. Exhale. Return the right hand down to your foundation. Twist left hand to outer right shin, thigh, or just touch the mat. Notice if you're starting to move off to one side. Center your hips and squeeze the sit bones up. Let the gaze drop underneath the armpit. Good, full breath in, hand returns down, downward facing dog, you can walk that hand print forward. Soften the knees, load the legs like you're coming into a chair in your legs, down dog in your arms. And from the ground, push, back of the heart lifts, feel that spinal wave, lengthen the neck. And then lower all the way to the belly, the knees can touch down first, and the shoulder heads back. Now, anchor into the feet. So you're energizing the legs. The legs become the anchor for this pose. And then inhale to the cobra. Pull your chest forward the shoulder blades come down the back. Take a full breath in. Exhale, forehead down. Relax the knees, relax the thighs. Again, press into the feet now. Energize the legs and up the kneecaps. Lift up the floor and then pull your heart forward as you scrub the heels of your hands back into cobra. Let the elbows draw in, shoulder blades down. Take another breath in. Good, release, forehead down. Full breath in. Release some of that tension in your legs, exhale. Last time, press into the feet, squeeze the quads, pull the chest forward, little baby cobra, scrub the heels and the hands back, shoulder tips draw down and in. One more breath in. Exhale, touch down, push back, child's pose. Knees can go wide. So you sit your hips back to your heels, crawl the fingertips forward. Good. Full breath in. Full breath out. Tabletop, rise, inhale. Tuck the toes, bent knee down dog from the chair in the legs, long arms. Good, press the chest back to the thighs. And then downward facing dog, lift your hips up. Spin the inner thighs towards the back of the room behind you. Anchor down into the palms, let the front ribs drip, draw in so you're giving some support into the shoulder girdle. Good. And then step your feet together from the inseam. Send your right leg up. Bend your knee, stack your hip, and allow your knee to be the top of this shape. So the very highest part of your body is this knee. Continue to reach it up as you spin the right arm head down. Good. Now spike the left heel. Spike the left heel. And then on your exhale, level up the hips, knee to nose, hollow out the chest. Step through. Strengthen your connection to the earth through the back leg. Plant it to your left hand and then circle. Right arm goes up. Strong back leg, pull the chest through, then twist, top shoulder seal into the back ribs. Your nose can come under your thumb. Full breath in, exhale, touch down, step forward, full top of the mat, drape the torso over the thighs. Good. Slide the hands to the outer shin bones on the inhale, it's halfway lift, find a flat back, and a little bit of a soft knee. It's almost like you're going into a deadlift if you were um, in the gym, all right? 
So softness in the knees, lengthen the spine. And why we're putting a little softness in the knees is so we can really ignite some of the back muscles and the booty muscle right here, all right? Take a full breath in, exhale, fold. Good, hands to the shins, lengthen the spine forward, lift halfway, bent knees. Exhale, fold. Last time like that, slide the hands to the shins, inhale, halfway to lift, draw the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, fold. Tip the sit bones up to the ceiling and bow the head straight down. Good, put a little softness in your knees. Use the inhale, rise all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, rise up, reach up, soft knees, exhale, fold, bow, swan dive over the thighs, drop your head, hands to the shin bones, inhale the halfway lift, and then lunge your right foot back, place your right knee down, hug your inner thighs towards one another, Anjane Asana, lift from the back of the heart and then reach, frame your ears with your arms. Imagine that the pinky fingers could go higher than the thumb line. Now isometrically hug your inner thighs towards one another so that you have a pelvic floor lift and you can reach up through the chest. Take one more breath in. Exhale, hands down. Step to a three-leg down dog and float your left leg high. Full breath in, then curl your heel to your butt. Exhale, release it out. Curl and release. Two more. Curl and release. Last one. Curl and release. Downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Maybe you want to pedal your legs a little bit. And settle into static downward facing dog. Good. Seems if feet touch together from the inhale, you lift left heel to ceiling. You can even point the toe if you want more extension. Then exhale, rock forward. Nose and kneecap come close together. Then step, lunge. Strengthen through your back legs. So you can tone the hamstring up to the ceiling. Push it to the left, or right hand rather, and lift the left. So you're going to peel the left lung and left arm up. Good. Notice if you're dipping in the hip. Keep it up and lift it so you can draw the spine through and then twist. Good. Take a full breath in. In the exhale, you touch down, step right foot up to meet left, bow, soft knees, drain your brain all the way down. Good. Just one time, halfway lift, hands on shins, flatten back. Exhale, fold, bow, release the head down. Reverse swan dive all the way up, reach up. Right away, forward fold, drop the brain back down to the ground, hang. Hands to the shins, halfway lift, heart moves forward. And then it's left foot, lunge it back. Let the knee come down, Anjaneyasana. So find the ground through the lower body, really push the back shin in, so let it soak into the mat, push the front heel down, let that Press down into the mat and use that to lift up. So we have that downward energy to give us the ability to lift up upward energy. Isometrically hug the inner thighs together. Draw the pelvic floor in and up. Open up your heart. Good. Breathe. One more breath in. Exhale, hands down. Step back to high plank and hover the right leg. Good. Breathe in, pull your heel to your butt. Breathe out to lengthen the leg. Hamstring curl again. Pull it in. Lengthen out. Two more times. Pull in, curl. Lengthen, release. Last time, curl. Release, touch down. Downward facing dog. Pedal up the legs. So we're going to continue to move through similar shapes, adding on a little bit to continue focus and attention on the lower energy centers. So bend into the knees, we're going to come into that loaded downward facing dog position. 
Load the legs, press into your hands. Good, feet come hips width distance. Now swivel your toes to the left, heels to the right. Reach, left arm goes skyward. Full breath in, exhale, hands down, keep the knees bent. Swivel other side, so load the legs, push into the feet so you can peel right fingertips, go skyward. Full breath in, exhale, hand down, lift the seat, and then straighten the legs and press your heels low, downward facing dog. Seams of feet come together, light up the right leg, send it high, skyward. Soften both knees so you can rock forward, little spine and wave, then tuck eyelashes into kneecap and step through, lunge. Good, left hand down, circle the right fingertips up as you strengthen the back leg, pull the chest through. Take another big breath in, exhale, step, left foot meets right, bow. Inhale, halfway lift, heart loops forward. Exhale, bow again, allow everything to drain. Reverse swan dive all the way up. And then step your feet hips with distance. Exhale and sit down into a chair with your feet hips with distance. And allow the knees to track and line with the hips so I can show you in the front. If you're starting to kind of walk out, draw in, starting to knock in, pull up. Nice and line, yeah? All right, and then sweep low, touch the ground. Keep that depth in your seat, but lift your heart high. Good. Reach up through the fingers. That front lumbar draws in. Lift your heart. Full breath in. Exhale, spill, full bow. Halfway lift the chest, inhale. And then that right foot lunges back. Anjane Asana, kneeling crescent. Squeeze the inner thighs. Reach your fingertips up. Exhale, hand down, hover left foot. Curl the heel in, exhale, straighten. Good, curl, straighten, curl, straighten. Last time, curl, straighten, downward facing dog. Soften the knees, pedal it out. Good. Now, spike the heels high, bend the knees low. This time, you start by swiveling to your right, heels to the left, peel right fingertips up, load the legs, inhale, reach through the fingers. Exhale, spin back to center. Keep the knees bent, rock to the other side, squat into the legs, lift, left lung and left fingertips up, inhale. Exhale, hand down, spin, lift the seat high. Exhale, heels low, good. Seams of feet come together, then extend. Left heel goes skyward. Soften the knees a little so you can push, find that wave of energy. Then step, left foot through. Right hand stays down, turn, twist. Left fingertips go skyward. Strengthen the connection to the earth through the back leg so your heart can move through. And then twist where there are ribs, right? That's where we rotate in our spine. One more breath in. Good, hand down, exhale, step. Big, powerful step, dangle the head, good. Hands to the outer shin bones, inhale, halfway lift, find the spinal muscles, the glutes as well. Exhale, full bow. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up, seal the palms. Exhale, hands to heart. And this time, feet come together. Sink weight back, lift the chest up. Good. And we'll take a little bit of motion right between here and a mountain pose. All right, so squat low, squat low, squat low. Dip the fingers down, inhale, rise up. Get low, low, low. Dip the fingers, inhale, rise up. And dip low, low, low. Dip the fingers, inhale, rise up. Last time, get low, low, low. Fingers tip, inhale, rise up all the way. Exhale, fold, bow, release. Hands to the outer shins, inhale, lengthen the spine. And the exhale, the left foot steps back. Knee comes down, squeeze the inner thighs away from the back of the heart. Reach the fingers up so you can feel pelvic floor lifts, belly lifts, heart lifts, fingers lift. Good, full inhale. Exhale, hands down, step three leg, plank. Curl your heel to your butt, straighten the leg. Curl the heel to the butt, 
Straighten the leg. Two more times. Straighten. Last time. Straighten and release. Find some breath. Maybe you're already warm like I am. Strong connection to the earth. Strong legs. Really sure, grounded trust in the body. Full inhale. Full exhale. Good. Now bend the knees, squat the chest low towards the thighs, spin, toes turn to the left. Peel the left arm up and then hug the right knee into the chest. Good. One time, pow, kick the leg out. Good. Left hand goes down, spin, send your right foot up, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, hug, squeeze, and then root the foot. Plant your left hand, right fingertips reach, inhale, inhale, exhale, touch down, back heel spirals down, open up, warrior two. Good. So allow your body to take up some real estate on your mat, and bring the pelvis, the ribs, the shoulders to stack right in the center. Good. Extend the fingertips out, and settle on into the legs. Let them heat up, so the back leg is still an anchor for you. Strengthen it down into the earth. Seal the knife edges of the feet down so that these inner arches can lift. So as you're, much as you're pressing down and out, you're also gathering in and up. Good. Full breath in. Exhale, side angle. Tip. Forearm to the thigh. And reach the back hand over the ear. If you're kind of getting stuck up here, sweep it down across the chest and then land the bicep over the ear. That way you can spin. You'll find a little more space. Really connect root through the back leg. Grow the bottom waist longer. Yeah, and then turn the gaze over the armpit. Breathe. <sighs> Two more times. <sighs> Press into the front heel. Inhale to a reverse warrior, reach up and back. Let the side sink of the body breathe, but continue to sink into that front lunge. Good, take a full breath in. Now push that front leg straight. Feel the sit bones shift. Tailbone moves towards the back of the heel and increase the front hip back. So you're kind of like slicing two parallel lines. Your ribs are on train tracks, growing long, and then tip into triangle. And it can be sweet for a lot of us to put a block Done underneath our bottom hand. Turn the ribs so you can start to bring your nose underneath your thumb. Beautiful. Good. And pull up on the quad muscle of the front leg so you're protecting the knee. Everything's strong. Good. Side body lifts you. Inhale, rise up. Turn both sets of toes and then heels in. Spot low into the horse. Good. So we're going to up the ante a little bit. Get a little more of our juices flowing. All right. So I want you to press into the ball mounts of your feet, lift your heels, good, and then sit a little bit lower. Awesome, allow your tailbone to descend as you lift your heart up. Let your legs shake and quake. Let them fire up. Feel all the muscles of your legs holding you. Squeeze the sit bones underneath so you can feel the musculature of your hip also holding you. Good, we're almost there. Doing a great job. Breathe. Sit a little deeper. Good. Heels release. Inhale. Circle the arms up. Warrior two. Flip the feet. Then flip the palm. Gather energy. Send it to the back. And reverse warrior. And then exhale. Cartwheel the hands to frame the front foot. Send your right leg back to that three leg down dog or plank rather. And then just curl the heel to the butt and then knee to the nose. Step through again. Gaze forward and then tip in the standing split so your left leg is going to go up to the ceiling. Soften the right knee so you can level out the hips and then spiral the inseam of your left leg up as you drop your head low. You can point in the toes for a little more space. Come up into your finger pads, take a breath and move the heart forward. Your exhale, curtsy squat, tack your knee behind the skin of your right calf. Inhale, left leg goes long, chest can move forward. Exhale, curtsy, squat. 
Inhale, lengthen. And two blocks could be under your hand. Exhale, squat. Lengthen, inhale, push the ground away. Exhale, squat. Get low, get low. Allow the toe to touch down. And then sit all the way down. Good. So your right foot's going to be crossed over the left knee. And if that um, causes you to feel uneven, like you're rocking under one hip, swing the bottom leg out. All right? So anchor into both sit bones or swing the bottom leg out so that you can. Lift up from your waist and then turn. Belly button is going to turn towards the right thigh. You can either wrap around the knee. Back hand becomes the second spine, gaze over shoulder. Or you can hook the elbow and use that as leverage to turn. shins parallel. Hands can come behind the thighs. Draw the chest through so your spine gets really long. Good. Bring your arms to the insides of your knees like you're reaching for your toes. Hug your knees into your arms. Your arms back out to the knees. You feel those inner thighs working. Good. Now continue to draw knees in towards the armpit. Link your peace fingers around your toe. You can be in this happy baby shape. Lift your chest through. Lift your chest through. Good. The legs start to engage. So your feet are helping your fingers. Your fingers aren't just pulling. Your feet are active as well. And continue to hug the knees into the elbows. Elbows press back out to the knees. Chest pulls through. One more breath in. Good. Exhale. Cross the ankles. Plant your palms and step back to a downward facing dog. Find a little bit of a home base. Settle in, let your neck get long, body gets long. Good, good. And I'm gonna turn around so you can see the other side. You'll just have to see my booty the whole time. All right. <laughs> good. So from the downward facing dog, spike your heels, squat your knees low. It's time to turn your toes to the right, heels to the left. Heel the right hand up and then pow, kick the leg out. So remember, this grounded leg is still anchored. Inner thigh lifts. Yes, one more breath in. Exhale, turn. Hand comes down, spin, swivel. Left leg goes up skyward. The knee to nose, rock forward, get tiny, small, lift. And then press through to your lunge. Right hand anchors down as the right leg gets long, chest long, and then twist left fingertips skyward. Take another breath in. Touch down, exhale, back heel down, open up, warrior two. So settle into the legs, seal the knife edges of the feet down, lift up through the arches. One way to test this to lift up the big toes and then allow the big toe and the pinky toe to press down. The middle three fingers, it's almost like you could put a little golf ball right underneath your toes. It can help you seal the feet, find the arch lift. Then spread the toes out wide and let them replant. Gaze over the front hand. Let the breath start to soften. Hmm. I get kind of excited when I think about these powerhouse muscles that we're working. There's so much that we need to do to pay attention to our legs, to be um, feeling grounded, to feel sure footed. Like that's exactly what we need in our life. We need more of that rooting, more of that assuredness, more of that, yes, I am going to walk in that direction and I have the strength to do so, right? Um, but it's not as sexy as working on the core all the time or the abs, really, because if we think about so much of the musculature of the hips and the inner thighs really are kind of our core, um, we just don't really consider it the way that we should or the way that a lot of us do. 
and take a breath in. We're going to come into the side angle, plant the forearm, sweep the back arm over the ear. So again, if you're starting to wear this shoulder like an earring, bring the arm down and then across until the bicep stops near the ear. And that's going to allow you to spin the ribs. Continue to deepen into the lunge, but engage the inner thighs towards one another to give you some stability. Good. Press into the front heel. Inhale, it's reverse warrior side. See the body lifts you. You can feel that stretch from the hip crest all the way up to the armpit. Good, then energize through the front leg, push the leg straight, and then slice into the hip crease. So the hip crease moves back, gets a little sharper, and then the ribs can run in parallel train tracks as you lengthen the spine and tip. So imagine that the pelvic bowl was just spilling some soup down your front leg. Reach the arms in opposing directions with equal energy, so it's not just down, it's not just up, we're stretching in two directions. Then turn the nose underneath the thumb. Good. Engage the quads with a little more stability through the legs, safety for the knee. Good. Side single body pulls you up. And the inhale, rise up. Turn the heels in, toes out. Hands to your heart. We're going to take little baby hops. Hop. Hop. Yes. Keep moving. You got it. Let your heart rate come on up. Little baby hops. Now, if this hurts your knees, you can just lift the heels like we did before. Otherwise, hop with me. Hop. 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 Almost there. Hop. 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 You got this. Four. Three. Two. Land low. Inhale. Circle up. Exhale. Warrior two. Reverse warrior, reach up and back. Then exhale, hands down. Step the left foot to hover in your three leg plank. Then hamstring curl. Knee to nose, cat the back. Step through. We're going to come into the standing split. Lift your right leg up, drop the head. So again, if you're starting to open up a lot and there's tension in your left hip, micromend the left knee, level the hips. Lift the inseam of the right thigh, drain the brain down. Good. Fingertips can come to blocks on the floor. Take a breath in, chest moves forward. Then curtsy, squat, knee taps behind the skin of your calf. Inhale, right leg long and up. Exhale, curtsy, get low. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, curtsy, low. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, curtsy, lowest. Let the toe land. Bring your tush down. So you know that modification. If you need to extend the bottom leg forward and out, that's fine. Otherwise, root the sit bones. Lift your fingers, tall spine. And either wrap your arm around your knee or hook in a seated twist. Back hands the second spine to give you length. Rotate, gaze over the back shoulder. Hmm. your feet out in front of you. Good. And then grab behind your thighs. Rock back. Roll up. Hold. Squeeze the sit bones. Rock back. Roll up. Hold. Squeeze the sit bones. Rock back. Roll up. Hold. Squeeze the sit bones. Last time we're going to come all the way up to our feet. Roll up. Your hands can help you if they need to. And come into a little yogi squat. Good. Let the heels start to work their way in. So if you feel comfortable with your heels down on the ground and your tush low, you can stay there. If you need to take more of a catcher's stance in baseball, do that. That's fine. Either way, we're all going to come up in a moment anyways. All right. Good. So using that analogy of a catcher's stance, 
Put your hands where you would if you were catching a ball. You wouldn't be lounging on your knees, right? You'd take your hands out in front of your face. So take your hands out in front of your face, feel that the pelvic floor immediately lifts, and then take your fingertips down. Start to walk your heels closer together and bring the on your toes. If this gives your knees any trouble, you stay lower, or you just hold this catcher stance, all right? Otherwise, as long as your knees are okay, heels can come up, spike the fingers. On your inhale, lift your butt up. On your exhale, look up, say Inhale, butt up. Exhale, lower. Lift. 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 Let your butt start to burn. Yes. Lift. Almost there. Yes, you can. Eight. Seven. Get a little wild. Six. Make your way to a seat, crisscross, yoga sauce, might feel good for the legs, or sit on a block. Let the legs root down, down, down. The heart lifts up and up and up. Crown floats. Maybe you're a little sweaty. That's good. Palms face up. Hear your own heartbeat. Do you that crescendo of energy coming into a moment of quiet? Hands come to your heart. Lift your thumb up, look up to your brow center. Gratitude, doing something so good for your body. Namaste. <sighs> nice work. Thank you for taking time. Thank you for just taking the time to do something good for you. Um, some getting some movement in, getting some yoga in, getting some breath in. A little bits every single day, and even little intense bits every single day. Those start to add up over time. Yeah, so. Um, I'm so glad that you took the time to root down, get into your legs, get a little steamy with me um, right here on the yoga mat. Um, and tune in every single Tuesday. I give you a new practice every workflow. And if you found this valuable, please pass it along to a friend. Make sure to share the love with them. Um, I will see you next time. And if you need some archive video, feel free to tune into juliamarieyoga.com. I have links to previous videos on the YouTube page, um, as well as this week's video, meditation, and playlist. All right, I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Mwah.